And then Ivania, you're uh, muted, so. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, everyone, for being here. And then I went ahead and uh, texted Commissioner Aziz. Hopefully, I mean, I used the number on the roster, so if anything, hopefully that'll work. Um, um, okay, so perfect. So I just want to give everyone a recap. So basically what we did in the last meeting is that we met on September 30th and identified, I'm just reading what um, Commissioner, Commissioner Case uh, wrote last time for the newsletter. So basically just to recap, we identified 20 operating procedures that must be developed and per like the CPP implementation ordinance. And the committees, we established that the committee's goal, our committee's goal is to complete drafting the most critical operating procedures by the end of the year to be considered a commission meeting in January. The next meeting of the ad hoc operations is today. So welcome everyone. So for announcements, first, we want to have Olga introduce herself, if that's okay with, with Olga. So take it away. Yes, I'm happy to do so, but also just a heads up that I'll be introducing myself on Saturday, Saturday as well. Uh, so that may be a repetition, uh, but um, thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to be on board. Um, just, I don't want to take too much time of the committee meeting, but I wanted to give a quick introduction that um, my background in civilian oversight comes mostly from New York City, uh, where I worked for the equivalent of the CPP, the one that also actually hasn't, you know, had investigative powers for a long time, um, New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board. Um, and that agency is also independent from um, NYPD. And we were tasked with investigating um, allegations of force, uh, abuse of authority, discourtesy, offensive language, sexual misconduct against members of the uniformed, uh, uniformed members of the police department. Um, I worked there for nearly seven years. Um, I was an investigator and then uh, became a manager supervising a team of four to six investigators. Um, I learned a lot at my job about police procedures, processes, about community police relations, local laws, federal state laws, and I plan to bring all of that to work here and looking forward to working with you all. Very short. <laughs> Well, I apologize for missing most of that while I was getting my audio set up, but <laughs> I'm sure there'll be other times when I can catch up. Thanks. Thank you very much, Olga. And, and yes, so I know Olga just mentioned um, that she will also be introducing herself and getting in depth um, next in like the full the full body meeting um, next time we meet with the commission. So thank you very much, Olga. Um, and all right, so. Today we have present uh, Commissioner Case, Commissioner Honore, Commissioner uh, Harvey, and as well as Olga, just for reference and meeting notes. Um, perfect. Okay, so now we can move on to Doug, if I mean Commissioner Case, if you would like to go ahead and report. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the uh, we had a cabinet meeting today, and the cabinet decided that they would like for the ad hoc committee, which is our committee to develop the uh, critical operating procedures, uh, which were the ones we talked about uh, last time having done by the end of the uh, calendar year to present to the full commission in January. And then to uh, turn over the rest of the procedures to permanent uh, committees of the, uh, of the commission uh, once we have bylaws and permanent committees established. And so, you know, there may be a uh, a rules committee that many of them could be referred to, but some of them, you know, could be referred to the personnel committee or the community outreach committee, depending upon what it might be. And so we talked about what those procedures would be, and they would essentially be, uh, <clears throat> I guess, all the ones one through eight that are on your screen there. Uh, because what we wanted to include was the procedures for doing investigations, uh, the procedures for reviewing and making discipline recommendations, and then finally the procedures for 
case review of internal affairs investigations. And uh, and so Dwayne, if you look at there, the first five are included in that. Uh, the mediation program would not be. And then seven and eight are related to uh, the uh, investigations. And so we would include uh, seven and eight in in the packet uh, that our committee is working on. And then finally, scrolling down is the uh, uh, well, number eight, which is re review and evaluation of SD invest SDPD investigations of misconduct, including internal affairs investigations. And I worked on a preliminary draft, but I'm, I'm waiting to get feedback from the new commission on how they want to proceed in the future. And so um, I'm going to suggest that we hold off for a couple of weeks on that until we get uh, a better sense of where we want to go in the future. Um, and then I added at the end of the list that was uh, we <clears throat> compiled last time, uh, number 12, which actually can be part of number eight. Um, as people are aware or should be aware, um, we have certain investigations we're required to do, and those are officer-involved shootings and in-custody deaths. And then there are other investigations that the commission has the discretion to do, and the implementation ordinance uh, lists uh, certain uh, criteria. I think it's like seven. I could be wrong in the number there, but uh, seven criteria uh, that an, a situation would need to be on that list uh, in order to uh, qualify for an independent investigation. Although some of them are, are fairly broad, you know, they include things about such as a case in which there is widespread community interest uh, or a continuing pattern of behavior. Uh, but some of them are real specific in terms of a use of force that results in serious bodily injury, et cetera. Anyway, but the issue is uh, how do we as a commission decide when uh, we are going to ask our investigator to investigate a case uh, that is already, well, to investigate a case and uh, and we can include that in the uh, review and evaluation of investigations, uh, but we also could uh, have a separate uh, procedure. And I'm thinking about it, maybe better to have a separate procedure, which is, you know, <clears throat> how do we go about uh, deciding uh, when to do an in when to do an, a discretionary investigation, and and if so, what the process is going to be, who makes the recommendation, how it's voted on, and so forth. And I see that Olga has her hand up, and so I'll see if she had a question or a comment on that. Thank you. So I had two comments, so which are unrelated to each other. So the first, as I was reviewing the investigations procedure, uh, it seemed to me that it may just a thought may be appropriate to add this um, procedure on discretionary investigations into the investigations procedure. Um, that's just a thought. Oh, and that's then, a good idea, a good thought. <laughs> yes. And then just for the purposes of note keeping, if you already identified the core procedures that the committee plans to present by the end of January, could you just name them again so that I can accurately document that? Okay. And so it would be the investigations, uh, and investigative hearings, and I think they're together in one document, uh, complaint administration, uh, administration of, uh, oh, SDPD administration of discipline process, uh, both one and two, which is reviewing discipline and making recommendations. Uh, and again, I think that is in one procedure that Dwayne drafted and then pitches motions and police discovery procedures and subpoenas. And so on the list here would be one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. And then on the list below, it would be uh, uh, eight, review and evaluation of uh, investigations. And then I think your suggestion is a good one. So I'm going to put, incorporate into investigation procedures, if everybody agrees with that. 
Sounds good. I must have misspelled that. It's coming up. Uh... Okay, that answer your questions? Yes, thank you. Okay, and that's what I had to report. Alrighty, thank you very much. Um, Okay, I know you you just Commissioner Case, I know you just went through and like actually named them, but like um according to the list that we're looking at, like can you list me the the numbers that you just Yeah, so there's actually two lists. There's a list of the ones that uh, Dwayne drafted and the ones that uh need to be drafted. And so on the on the list that at the yeah. top, it would be everything except 6. So 1 through two, 1 2 3 4 5 7 and 8. And then on the bottom list, it would be uh, eight and 12. So it would just be eight and 12 from the bottom list. Right. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. From, and then the bottom list, are those, those are not the ones um, outside council, council drafted, right? No. And so the uh, eight is the one that I have started. Um, and then 12 is the one that we're suggesting be added to the investigation procedures, which should be number one. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. All right, so with that, are we good to move on to the, the next item? Sure. Okay, perfect. So then, um, and I think you, you already mentioned the next item. So it was basically that we are waiting for, for the bylaws committee. Um, to meet tomorrow in order to to delegate or, or, or see how the breakdown is going to take place. Yeah, yeah. so all, all the ones that are not, all the ones we just didn't list, uh, we want to refer to another committee, uh, but we need to find out what the committees are going to be before we make that referral. And so we suggested waiting until the next meeting to decide who's going to work on the uh, on all the others. Okay, perfect. And then... All right, so then the next one is that we need to see what our next five meetings will look like. And the reason for that is because we want to have um, us as a ad hoc committee uh, review or come up come up with or re review the procedures for, I believe it was um, investigations. And then we have case review case review procedures and then the discipline procedures. So what's what we need so is two two one hour meetings for investigative procedures and then we need two um, case review meetings and those would be one hour and 30 minute meetings. That's like the roughly like rough suggestion. And then we have the last meeting uh, to be a, a one a one hour one meeting of the discipline procedures. And then the thing is we get to decide out in what order we want to do those, but overall it would be two, two, and then one. Um, so how would we like to go about that? Do we have any comments so far? Can I ask a question of uh, Olga? Yeah, we, we wanted to, to wait till you were on board before we did the investigation procedures. Uh, do you think we can start on discussing those at our next meeting in about two weeks? I think so. Yes, I had um, some questions for Mr. Um, for our general uh, for our council, so I can get those answered hopefully by the next meeting, or hopefully meet with him by the next meeting. Okay. Then my suggestion is that uh, we do those first, um, and. We also probably need to decide which meetings we need to have legal counsel at. Uh, you know, since he does charge, uh, we probably want to limit the number of meetings he comes to. But he's, you know, we, we need to have him at the essential meetings. And so, um, I don't know what what Olga. Do you think we need to invite him to the meeting where we're discussing investigation procedures? Not necessarily. I was thinking I could just meet with him offline and discuss okay. those, and then armed with his answers hopefully i'll be able to 
better okay. participate in the next meeting of the committee. Okay. And then I would request that we do the uh, case review last um, because we're kind of feeling our way right now and we're deciding, you know, what system do we want to use in the future? Do you want to use volunteer teams? Do you want staff to do it? Do you want a combination and so forth? And I think uh, we need to kind of get a sense of that before we put it together. Uh, but like I said, I've, I've already begun working on it, but some of those things like uh, what our approach is going to be need to be kind of figured out as we move along. And so my rec my suggestion was of the five meetings that uh, meeting four and five be for uh, the case review procedures. And uh, I'm gonna mute myself for a second because Gloria is calling me, <laughs> so. Okay. Hey, Gloria, I'm in the uh, investigation, I mean, in the uh, operating procedures meeting right now. Alrighty, so do we have um, another suggestion or preference for, for what the context of our next five meetings will look like? So just to clarify, Commissioner Case wanted um, preferred case review or to, to be to have like an invest. What did Commissioner Case say just right? I think he proposed to start with the investigations procedures during the first two meetings, and then he proposed the case review um, procedure to be the last two meetings. Okay, so that would only leave um, that would leave like the discipline one to be our third meeting. Do we have any objections or comments or or any anything else from our other commissioners? So it looks like we have two one hour meetings that will be scheduled for investigation, right. discussing investigative procedures for the next meeting or two meetings. Is that correct? Yes, those first two meetings will be one hour. And then the goal is that the last two meetings would be one hour and 30 minutes long. And those will cover case review. Yes. And I'm going to send to Commissioner Rubio the uh, procedures that our legal counsel has already drafted so she can have them included in our folder. Uh, and that way people can look through them and become familiar with them prior to our, our next meeting. And has everyone gotten access to the drive? I have shared it in the webinar chat, um, on the, in, the, in the chat here. Has everyone been able to access that folder? When you say the drive, you're talking about the city of San Diego drive? I'm talking about a, a, like a, I made a Google Drive folder for this meeting. Meanwhile, until the office like makes a designated folder in the city drive right. for us. Um, but so far, like, so they don't go around searching for all of these documents and PDFs. Um, I already put the stuff that has been emailed to us as an ad hoc, so I can just share it with them. Um, so this is a link to put in the chat, right? Yeah, that's that's the one that I made with my school account. So the goal is that this all of this information will be found in the city one and not necessarily the oh, turn off the lights on me. Um, it, it won't be found. It won't be attached to my school email at some point. Yep, I have it. Right. Uh, Commissioner Harvey, were you on, on the Zoom when she dropped those links in the chat? Because if you were not, then you will not see them. No, I, I don't I don't see them. And I'm on my phone, so I don't. Oh. <laughs> I can go ahead and email the link if that's um, easier as well. I was going to suggest that because once we end the meeting, we won't have access to this link. Oh, good point. <laughs> Olga, do you happen to have your, can you, are you able to drop your email on the, in the. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Oh. 
And I just wanted to confirm the, the document that Commissioner um, Case was just sharing. Is it also in this folder? It is not, but I'm going to send it to her afterwards so she can put it in the folder. OK. I, and then maybe maybe when I send it to you, you can delete the other list so we don't get confused. I, I, I put the date on the one that I just did when I saved it. And so you can tell it, it'll be dated October 11th. Okay, sounds good. I can go ahead and do that. So we don't need the, the other drafts? Yeah, the other list. Yeah, because we have like two lists in there. Okay, perfect. Thank you for letting me know. I can do that. All right here, I'm trying to like, is there any other comments on the specific order of the cases or are we all good to go with um, the order that, that um, Commissioner Case proposed? on this one. What was that? Here, let me, oh, the thumbs up? Yeah, I don't see it. I'm trying to copy link. I can raise my hand, let's see. Yep, that's all I got. No worries. I think that's because this is in, in webinar version, uh, webinar mode. But yes, I'm okay with it. Perfect. All right, and then the last one, while I emailed this, this shared Google Drive link. Um, looking at the agenda, the other item was scheduling. Okay, so, all right, y'all, I am not available uh, moving forward from 5.30 p.m. to, to 6.30. So I wanted to ask, is there another time that we can meet? If not, my only recommendation or suggestion or ask would be to, to move the ad hoc meeting to 6 p.m. This would allow for me to commute without having to, that this would facilitate me being able to attend the meeting. If that's okay with everyone else, or if anyone proposes a new time moving forward. Well, I think Commissioner Honore had uh, some of the time constraints last time in terms of work. So maybe you can tell us when you're available. Well, Wednesday evening at six o'clock. Used to be Bible study. We have a new pastor. We don't know when Bible study is going to be now. Um, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, if if six o'clock is what works for you on Wednesdays, we won't be doing this forever. So uh, that will work for me. Okay. Will, that, will that work for you? Yes. Ivania, okay. Yes, that'll be that'll be good. I, I, I thought six o'clock was what you were proposing, Commissioner Rubio. Yes, it is six o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that works. And um, yeah, as long as you keep it, uh, wow. Well, hey, that should work. I do have some seven o'clock meetings. Most of them are Zoom meetings. Uh, and when we get to the hour and a half meetings, I'll, I can decide uh, which, <laughs> what has more importance. And so I probably can miss the other meetings. Perfect. All righty. Sounds good. So. Um, Commissioner Harvey, are we okay with, with meeting at 6 p.m.? And I'll add it to the email, too, if anything. Yeah, so our, yeah, I'm good. Okay, perfect. So our next meeting would be? It would be October 25th at 6 p.m. From 6 to 7 p.m. Okay. That works, and I'll go ahead and send that in the in the email. I'll like write a little debrief just for us internally, um, and I'll share access to the folder there too. Be and there you'll find the agenda for today. Alrighty, and then is there any any other comments or concerns with with our new meeting time? Nope. Okay, perfect. So the last thing was that I will be advocating for. Um, staff to help us create this Google Drive because it will facilitate us being organized um, as a committee and for other committees to also take advantage of of the like a Google Drive and being organized with their files too. Um, so we don't have so many emails. So that's just something that's that's my report um, that I'll be I'll be pushing for. And um, besides that, y'all, I think I think that's that's it. I think that's it for today's meeting. We were really fast with it.
just wanted to flag, um, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty positive that there is already a folder for the committees um, on the Google Drive. It just, uh, we just need to share it with everybody once um, everybody gets um, access to their laptops and Google Drives. Okay, it must be new, but uh, anyway, we can make sure that there is. Yeah, but, but I think it's certainly good to mention that in the meeting regardless. Thank you very much. I and mean, I know a lot of us still don't have access to our city emails. Um, so you need the city email to access that drive too. So if anything, hopefully it'll be addressed by next time. So not too much work on my end, huh? If they already have it done. Um, okay, well, sounds good. And I'll make sure to still share these files with, with the team. Perfect. Is there anything else, Commissioner Case, that we're missing? Nope, I think we got it done. I, I like short meetings. <laughs> I think future meetings may not be as short because there's a lot of meaty stuff we have to go over. So, okay, sounds good. Well, I will send a, a little debrief of everything that we touched on today. Are we good to go, everyone? Any objections for for meeting adjourning? I think we should tell Commissioner Aziz that we made a ten assignments to give to her. <laughs> Just to scare her, huh? No. If anything, she'll receive the email too with the updates. All righty, folks. Okay. I guess we're done. Mm -hmm. Adjourn the meeting. Yes, I'm going to stop the recording. All righty. All Thanks. right. Okay.